your research profile as a doctor or as a pg student planning to become a doctor or as an aspiring doctor having some research experience will always give you that extra earning source and extras if you think that doctors are not doing research then you don't have a very good understanding of the responsibilities of a doctor especially from some reputed place ignu has these courses tiss has these courses iisc's and lot of these iits also run these biostatistics courses which are very online courses for any doctor uh, because the word doctor means te teacher it means someone with high knowledge and someone who is able to analyze research and contribute and that's how your field hi everyone my name is dr jagdish chaturvedi your friendly neighborhood ent teacher aur aaj main aapko kuch tips dene wala hu on how you can build your research profile as a doctor or as a pg student planning to become a doctor or as an aspiring doctor aap soch rahe ho ki yaar hame research mein ghusna hi nahi hai kyun time waste kar rahe ho maine bola bhai ye bahut kaam mein aayega aapke because if you are looking for a job especially in a teaching medical college or a premier institute your research work is going to play a major role not only in your entry into that college but also in your promotions from sr to tutor to assistant prof to associate prof sab mein publication lagte hain research work lagta hai and also as a doctor to improve your career options having some research experience will always give you that extra earning source and extra career in case agar you find your current field too difficult so main aapko kuch tips aapko batata hu now first of all as a medical student maybe as an mbbs student or a um, bds student or um, you know as a post graduate student how do you enter research and what do you, what do we mean by research aur humko kyun karna hai see every doctor has to कम्युनिकेट इन द फील्ड ऑफ रिसर्च की उनके क्या फाइंडिंग्स हैं क्या एनालिसिस हैं एवरी थिंग दैट यू आर स्टडिंग टूडे इज ड्रिवन बाई एविडेंस बेस्ड मेडिसिन एंड रिसर्च इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग डॉक्टर्स who are writing about the results of their patients and what is working and what is not working it is not coming through the scientific scientist research who you think were only doing molecular biotechnology work nay nee, it's coming from actual core doctors if you think that doctors are not doing research then you don't have a very good understanding of the responsibilities of a doctor research is a very important responsibility and aapko jo patients dikh rahe hain aap uske findings ko uske results ko you have to discuss and you have to share that ki this is what happened in my case study pool this is what happened in this trial that i did so all of that comes into a research domain which you as a doctor whether you are in the corporate world or in a teaching medical college you should do to build and further your career otherwise it is going to be um, you know a rate limiting factor for you as a student what research can you do first is to get your name into as many publications as possible kahan se milega publication aap bolo hum to padhai kar rahe hain hum kahan se publish karenge paper but paper writing publication writing little bit of a tedious task that is why your senior residents or pgs who are writing their thesis or your junior uh, faculties like assistant associate professors and your hod's all will have the pressure to write more and more papers and if you go and say gurudev uh, i will be there at your service to write in the papers it is like music to their ears that is the most easiest way to get because most other students will be focusing only on their academic aspects or maybe on the clinical aspects it will be easy if you say that i want to help write a paper but i don't know first one or two papers somebody will be taking the effort to teach you because they know it's investment aage jaake you can write more papers for them so if you start writing these papers maybe it's a, my my first four or five publications was a case report case report very very simple single case it's a case report least level of evidence but it teaches you you know how to write the background how to write the you know uh, discussion literature you know and all of those kind of things and uh, then your conclusions and then do some case control studies or a small case study um, you know uh, with maybe some junior doctors or or the most easiest not easiest but the most easiest to access which you can do as a study even without any doctor's help is by doing a systematic review systematic review matlab take any particular topic find all the articles available around it and then do a systematic review so aapko study nahi karni hai aapko na patient dekhne hai you have to just do a study of studies which is the highest level of evidence in cochrane review meta analysis or systematic review now how does one get the knack of this read as many papers as possible go on pubmed uh, scopus uh, whichever university you are in they will give you some access to the library start reading papers you will already understand ki acha ye kaise likha jata hai end mein conclusion to yahi hota hai ki aur study karni hai so you has not much pressure for you to come up with a conclusion also but you have to write it as a process 
and um, and and maybe then uh, you know see if you are getting access to some doctor who who is willing to let you write their publication that is the best way otherwise try with small systematic reviews on certain topics of your interest isse do cheeze hoti hain one is you start showing in your cv two three publications and it doesn't have to be very high end publications even if it is in some small journals uh, which are always looking for publications you submit it uh, to them even if they are e journals it starts showing up on your cv secondly it starts showing your area of interest if you're doing these research in the area of interest it also shows whenever you are trying to get a job that you have genuinely done work in this area and you are more interested to work in this area and then when you get into a job especially in the medical college environment or a government uh, college environment then these publications give you a kick start towards uh, promotions and higher pay and better you know uh, what do you say climbing of the hierarchy in that area because publications is a very important criteria for your promotions as well uh, in the medical college route in the corporate world uh, writing publications um, gives you the name of that authority that you know you are a thought leader in that space you have written a lot of publications you go to a lot of conferences it brings you more patients and more um, you know fellowship courses and other things that you can run also then you also start having an opportunity for side career like uh, cro's clinical research organizations where you design case studies you design clinical trials you uh, draft the protocols uh, all of that where can you learn all of this so one is okay you learn it directly from your faculty if they are interested but you may say hamare yahan to koi interest hi nahi dikhata look for biostatistics courses there are many of them there online especially from some reputed place ignu has these courses tiss has these courses iiscs and lot of these iits also run these biostatistics courses which are very online courses um and you can uh, do them and learn the basics of doing clinical research every medical college or institution will have a research department also or they will have a research institution itself which is also run by doctors so if you get into this space or put a foot into it you can also have job opportunities in pure research fields if you find it is too scary and you can get beaten up while doing your clinical work so guys these are some of the ways that you can do it also innovation finding new drugs finding new medical devices thinking of new ideas also comes under research and there are many courses uh, that help you in that also like there is now the school of international biodesign in aims uh, they have just launched uh, their application i think uh, middle of this month or 26th november i think is the deadline which teaches you how to do medical device innovations a masters of medical science of technology in iit kharagpur is a masters course completely you can do any time after your mbbs and learn the innovation process and also research process plus there are also fellowships and small certificate courses and degree courses completely in research methodologies which you can do and uh, trust me guys this will not only make you a better doctor it will also train you how to think about what you are doing roj paracetamol paracetamol ya likh ke you know not knowing whether your patient's improving or not improving you has no follow up and you don't know what you are doing why you are doing it you're doing it because somebody has told you to do it and that is not the best way to progress as a doctor you need to start understanding your practice are you effective are you not effective where is the scope for improvement all of this is research so don't listen to your friends and say hey, डॉक्टर का सीट खराब कर दिया रिसर्च कर रहा है डोंट थिंक लाइक दैट रिसर्च इज एज इंटीग्रल अ पार्ट फॉर एनी डॉक्टर बिकॉज द वर्ड डॉक्टर मीन्स टीचर it means someone with high knowledge and someone who is able to analyze research and contribute and that's how your field progresses all right so these are some of the tips that i told you i will summarize it how do you get access to doing some research work go to your uh, junior faculty or uh, your hod and offer to write the papers that they want to be written but they found nobody to write learn some of the basic things from them if they are not willing to teach you do a biostatistics course research methodology course certificate course you will find it online in the places that i told you or you can do a systematic review just google how to do a systematic review you have to just read a lot of articles write it in a way and submit it and systematic reviews you don't require either patient load or anybody else you just need articles read those articles analyze them and submit them that's also an easy way uh, to start or you can do some small case report of a patient that you've seen or you can uh, intern with clinical research organizations who are doing clinical trials and studies all the time go to your irb there will be an institutional ethical review board in your hospital they will be affiliated to the research uh, department and they will connect you to the right people so with all of this try to build at least by the end of your mbbs have two or three publications and by your end of your post graduation should have at least five to eight publications to give you a good place to upskill your career uh, and also give you some more career options uh, if uh, your clinical field does not 
work out all right and if you want to go abroad then this is what they look at if you want to go abroad and you have done more papers and publications in the area of your interest you may get fellowships in that specific field uh, which will further your own speciality all right so hope this helps any other questions you can always write in the comment section or ping me always there to uh, guide you take care signing out dr jagdish chaturvedi bye bye